So baby, pull me closer in. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I don't, I don't know if if you think about beautiful women in the world, of course. Uh, the women in the HA class are are probably beautiful. Um, see, my my girlfriend, um, she's definitely beautiful, and um, oh, Sumide is beautiful. But let's let's go outside of Japan, okay? So if we go outside of Japan, um, okay, this this woman here, okay, can you see? Uh, there we go, Miranda Kerr. Miranda Kerr, she is definitely beautiful. And you see there, beautiful images of Miranda Kerr. If we can scroll, we can see, oh, just such a beautiful woman, such a nice smile. So, oops, such a, oop, okay, that's okay. <laughs> such a nice face, right? But what do you really know about Miranda Kerr other than the fact that she's super beautiful? Well, uh, listen to this little interview with her. And now, this interview is interesting because this interview is of Miranda Kerr and it's on an American TV show. And the host of the show is from Scotland, like Andy. So you hear a lot of different languages. Of course, the audience is American because it's an American show. Miranda Kerr is from, you'll find out, and you probably already know. And the host, remember, is from Scotland. So check it out, Miranda Kerr interview. Remember, my outside listenings, I like a lot of different types of sources. This is casual English. Casual English interviews. Go for it. Yeah. My next guest is a very uh, beautiful woman. She's a businesswoman, really. Uh, she's an author and a model. Uh, she's featured in the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, which is airing tomorrow night at 10 on CBS. Really? <laughs> you hear that? The Victoria's Secret Fashion Show is on CBS tomorrow. It's fantastic. Yeah, you... I'm like... I'm looking single. up around here. I am single. Huh? I'm single. Yeah, you... <laughs> Miranda Kerr, everybody, Miranda Kerr. You look absolutely... Welcome, Miranda. You look absolutely lovely. Like, really very nice indeed. I don't know Thank if anyone's you. ever told you before, but you're, re you're reasonably attractive, young lady. Thank you. And you're very handsome, too. Yeah, you've got to throw a bit more oomph behind it if you're going to say it. You're a very handsome man. Mm, a little bit more. I think that we should take our kids on a play date together. Yeah, that's safe. <laughs> what age are your kids? My, I have a son. Right. And he's around the same age as your son. Well, my youngest boy is two, and then I have another one who's a, you can't have oh, an 11 year old. No, that'd be, I don't, you know, no. that's impossible. Mine's going to be two in January. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, mine's going to be two in January, too. Yeah. Let's get them together and get them in a band. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> my son can play the piano. My son can play the piano better than your son. Oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Maybe we should set them in a sort of piano playing race. Well, How could he play the piano at two? Okay, well, he can't really play the piano, but he walked into this... We did a play date thing, and he walked into the room. The first thing he made a beeline for was the piano. And he got up there and just... It was a little mini piano, a kid's one. Right. And he got up there and just started playing. And I was like, wow. That's what, I, that's what Richie did. That's the it same story. It does run in my family. It does run in my family, though. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's in our blood. Do you play the piano? I do, a little. A, a little piano, or you play the piano <laughs> a little bit? Piano. Right, you play a tiny. That's adorable. Yeah, my my grandma is amazing. And Mine my... too, but she doesn't play the piano. <laughs> well, you come on here saying your kid's better than my kid, your grandma's better than my grandma. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are, lady? I come from down under. <laughs> <laughs> Australia? Yeah. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, 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 yeah. <laughs> You know that Kerr is a Scottish name, though? It is. Well, it is? Yes. Oh, I, I well, have, there you I are, I then. I have Scottish and Irish in my ancestry. That must... You, are you fond of whiskey? <laughs> mm, no, but I like Guinness. 
Well, Guinness is good. Yeah. I mean, if you like that sort of thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that on TV, but I, I used to enjoy Guinness immensely when before I stopped. Yes. <laughs> and now, what is your um, preferred drink? Tea. Tea. What kind of tea? Oh, I like, yeah, I like an Earl Grey, really. Or, uh, I like an Earl Grey, too. Do you really? Yeah, I love oh, an Earl Grey. Oh, I think we'll Grey. get along nice, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Earl Grey. Earl Grey or Darjeeling, maybe? I like a bit of Darjeeling. No, no. What the hell? <laughs> I like you think your grandma's better than my grandma? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just have a play date, and then we can drink some tea. And... Wait, you're, I'm one of your girlfriends now, <laughs> haven't I? <laughs> when did I become this non-threatening? <laughs> That's awful, but great at the same time. <laughs> no, I think it's lovely. Well, it's so lovely. you're, yeah, your your baby's American then. Yeah, he was born here in LA. Mm -hmm. Mine too. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And my husband's English. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so my son has got, you know. He's English, English Australian, Australian, and American. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going to do well. Do you? Uh, <laughs> Do you, so in the fashion show tomorrow night, are you walking up and down with your underwear on? I am. <laughs> and I have some wings on as well. Yeah, I, I think I've seen one wings. of those things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's quite a look. Uh, yeah, it's that you... Of, you know, it's something different. You don't, see, Do you it every, get you don't see it every day. Do you get embarrassed walking around like that, kind of, you know? To be honest, I don't get embarrassed, but... What I do find is that if I have friends or my husband in the audience watching, yeah. I get, oh, oh my goodness, that's a little embarrassing. Because it's almost like you put... Your husband presumably <laughs> has seen you in your underwear before. <laughs> he has. But it's different because I'm parading it in front of everyone else, not just him, you know. So, like at home, do you walk up and down in your underwear for your husband? Because <laughs> that makes you the most awesome sometimes. wife in America. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Nice. I, you know, let's bring it back to my grandma, okay? Here we go, what you and your she, grandma. <laughs> what she said to me about, she said about men. Men are very visual, so don't forget that. She said, every day, just put, put a little makeup on, put on some nice underwear, and you'll keep your husband. <laughs> That's what she told me. You know, I, I think the, there's truth in that. Yeah. And I when I say it. that, I mean, for me. <laughs> I can't, I can't speak for all men, but I think men are visual. Aren't women visual too, though? No, women need to be mentally stimulated. I see. Would you like... <laughs> I also like your horse. You like my horse? Do yeah. You, do you, do you, do I grew up with horses. In a stable? Um, we didn't actually have a stable. He was in the paddock. Oh, I thought you were, like, raised by horses. <laughs> no, I grew up riding horses. Oh, that, see, that's a great thing. Do you, are you going to teach, your, are you going to teach your, your, your kid to ride horses? Yeah. But when he's finished with the piano? <laughs> Once he's done with the piano, I think I might teach him to ride a horse. Yeah, I think it's I like it. Yeah, me too. I, know I had a lot ride. of fun on, a, on the back of a horse. What are we talking about? <laughs> Yeah, I, like, listen, you, you're blushing, you woke up and down with your underwear, but this is what makes you blush? <laughs> All right, we're out of time. Do you want a piece of fruit? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'll take the apple. Really? There's some coconuts here. Oh, I love coconut. I like coconut too. Would you like me to smash it for you? No, do you know your blood type? Yes. What is it? I think it's O. Well, you should have a banana, because bananas are good for your blood type. Just saying. Just putting it out so, there. So, let me get this straight. Your kid's better than my kid. <laughs> Your grandma's better than my grandma. <laughs> and I should have a banana. It's, yeah. Well, what's your blood type? I'm an A. So... I'm an A positive. Well, yes, you are. Uh, <laughs> well, um... <laughs> <laughs> so, what kind of fruit should you have, then? Apple. Well, they have an apple. That's a little tiny apple. That's a little. See, it'll sit, look nice on your little piano. Yeah. <laughs> it smells good. It's an apple. <laughs> we're on the car, everybody. We're right here.
Are you healthy? Do you eat good food? Do you eat vegetables? Do you eat superfoods? Now, you might be asking, what is a superfood? Well, a superfood is a food that is not processed. It's from nature. So it's not something that's gone through any process in any lab, in any factory. It's just a superfood. And what we're going to find out today is what are those superfoods? What's in those superfoods and why are they superfoods? So please watch this video on superfoods. Yeah! Watch it. A healthy lifestyle begins with a healthy diet. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 healthiest foods. For this list, we picked the 10 essential superfoods that have shown to significantly improve people's health and well being. While there are many things that can be incorporated into a healthy diet, this list focuses on things that can be eaten and are readily accessible to most people. The focus is also squarely on solid foods, so we aren't mentioning things like red wine, olive oil, or tea. Number 10. Avocado So good for you that it actually makes other superfoods healthier. Avocado is rich in oleic acid, which lowers the risk of heart and inflammatory diseases. It also enhances the body's absorption of carotenoids, essential nutrients found in leafy greens and red or yellow vegetables. Add avocado to a salad and you actually amplify the nutritional value of virtually everything else in the bowl. And don't be afraid of the avocado's high fat content. It's what makes it creamy, delicious and incredibly nutritious. Plus, it's good fat. Number 9. Kale while all leafy greens should be part of a healthy diet, including spinach, it's kale that packs the greatest punch. Rich in various essential vitamins, a cup of kale actually matches and sometimes surpasses a cup of milk in terms of calcium content. Its complex chemical composition can help to fight cancer and can actually repair DNA in damaged cells. Sautéed or steamed, pureed or boiled, this hearty veg maintains its nutritional content regardless of preparation. So if you think you don't like kale, just try preparing it another way. Number 8. Sweet Potatoes Trumping even the carrot as a primary source of beta-carotene, the orange-fleshed sweet potato provides a variety of health benefits in one simple-to-cook, easy-to-eat package. The popular root vegetable helps to balance blood glucose levels while also raising blood levels of vitamin A, essential for maintaining a healthy immune system and eyesight. Best served steamed or boiled, you can optimize its nutritional benefits by drizzling on a small amount of a healthy fat like olive oil to enhance your body's nutrient absorption. Number 7. Blueberries Jam-packed with antioxidants, vitamin C, and fiber, this wee berry might actually improve memory and slow down or postpone certain cognitive disorders related to aging. As fruits go, the blueberry is relatively low in sugar and can help maintain a healthy glycemic level when eaten on a regular basis. Cheaper and more readily available than the recently lauded goji berry, the blueberry also maintains its nutritional value when frozen, which means you can reap benefits of this sweet and tangy fruit all year round. Number 6. Almonds Delicious and versatile, this much-loved nut is actually a seed whose high fat content can satiate a craving while simultaneously improving your overall health. Almonds are rich in monounsaturated fat, which reduces unhealthy cholesterol levels and lowers the risk of heart disease. A great source of vitamin E, the almond can help improve overall cardiovascular health and is thought to reduce certain signs of aging. Want to feel good and maybe even look a little better? Start snacking on some almonds. Number 5. Apples Yes, it's true. An apple a day will actually keep the doctor away. A good source of vitamin C and soluble fiber, apples improve blood glucose and cholesterol levels. Their antioxidant properties promote the production of collagen, which strengthens veins and capillaries, and helps to maintain fresh, youthful-looking skin. A versatile fruit that comes in a variety of types, red, green, or gold, this popular snack has some pretty powerful health benefits. Number 4. Salmon Rich in B12, vitamin D, and with one of the highest concentrations of omega-3 fatty acids of any food, wild or organically farmed is really your best bet when it comes to this fish. 
Recent studies suggest that eating salmon can help improve cardiovascular functions and might even help to reduce depression and boost learning capabilities. The ultimate brain food, when it comes to a healthy diet, this oily fish is really a no-brainer. Number 3. Oats Whole grain oats are a great source of soluble fiber and can significantly lower cholesterol, while also preventing heart disease, some types of breast cancer, and colon cancer. And sure, we know these whole grains might be a little bit boring, but they're cheap, easy to cook, and really, really good for you. Boost flavor with a few berries, throw in some almonds, and enjoy. Your body will thank you. Number 2. Garlic A staple ingredient in virtually every type of cooking, an ancient remedy whose medicinal properties stand the test of time, garlic can improve a meal just as easily as it improves your health. With a variety of antibiotic and anti-inflammatory properties, garlic boosts your immune system, helps with metabolic functions, and has been shown to have certain cancer-preventative properties. The key to keeping its health benefits? Let's sit after chopping or crushing and never overcook. The key to enjoying garlic with friends? Breath mints. Before we dig into our number one healthiest food, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Broccoli Eat your greens. Broccoli helps to detoxify the body systems, reduces inflammation, and is rich with antioxidants, making it one of the best things you can eat to maintain health and possibly prevent certain types of cancer. The key to healthy broccoli is preparation. Overcooking not only makes the veg soggy and, well, gross, it also destroys all nutrient value. Lightly steaming it will maintain its texture, flavor, and its incredibly powerful health benefits. You'll just have to deal with the taste. Do you agree with our list? What vital veggie, phenomenal fruit, or simple tasty super snack do you think deserves our attention? For more